Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian and I'm streaming to you from beautiful Victoria here on the west coast of Canada. I hope everybody has had an awesome week and I hope you're all starting off a great weekend. Welcome Kyber. Hi Jainil. Welcome everyone to this class. Today we are looking at IELTS task 2 writing band 9 essay in 40 minutes. That's right, you have 40 minutes for task 2. And you have to write a great essay, so you have to use your time effectively, and I'm going to show you how to do that uh, today. This is a members chat class. Everybody is welcome to watch. To become a member of our channel, simply click the join button next to the subscribe button. It's good to subscribe as well. We have lots of live classes each week and tons of great materials for you. Welcome Carolina, our chat moderator. Everyone, this lesson is presented to you by aehelp.com. For academic IELTS success, check us out there. For the general IELTS, check us out at gieltshelp.com. You can use this code R4TYJ uh, to get a 20% discount off of our premium package. Our website looks like this. This is our academic IELTS website here at aehelp.com. You can click this um, red button there just above my head to join our premium package. It's a one-time payment for lifetime access and as you can see we are a British Council IELTS Test Registration Center and certified agents, so you're in great hands with us. This is our general IELTS website here. You can click those buttons there to join our premium package. Hi, Aman. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Nabeen. Good to see everyone. Aman, I can see tomorrow it's your exam. Same with Nabeen. So good luck, Nabeen and Aman in your exams uh, tomorrow. It's great on you to be here. Uh, to do a bit of extra learning and preparation before your exam today. Hello, Harwinder. Um, if anybody has questions, send me an email to adrian at aehelp.com and I'll get back to you with some answers in 24 hours or less usually. Uh, we've got lots of uh, practice exams uh, that we've developed. They're exactly like the IELTS exams, same difficulty, same types of questions. You can get our exams from Amazon, uh, search for AE Helps Academic IELTS, or you can also search for GE Helps General IELTS, and then you can actually order them in like book format, like the paper book. So. Okay, everyone, uh, we will have a speaking part two class for everyone today as well. Um, that speaking part two is actually a speaking part two uh, that was the question uh, for a very similar type of question for an official IELTS exam last month that was sent to us by one of our students, and that's coming up next class. Okay, everyone, so let's get right into some writing, some writing strategy, some writing tips. Um, yesterday we touched on uh, the difference between using the abbreviation IE and uh, EG. Uh, these abbreviations are coming from Latin, IE meaning id est, uh, which actually means that is in English, and then um, EG uh, meaning um, exempli gratia. Uh, which means the example that's given or for instance okay there's an important difference there we're going to use these in today's writing uh, this was the writing question that we started yesterday so uh, in your writing in the IELTS exam you have one hour of writing and you have to basically write two essays in the general IELTS you have to write a letter which is a narrative essay and you have to write an ex a persuasive essay, an essay that convinces your reader of some idea. That's a persuasive essay. That's the same in academic for task two as well. And this is the uh, task two question here that we started looking at yesterday. And you have 40 minutes again for this entire task. 
So, um, here we go. Uh, many people think that technology is the solution to major world problems such as pollution. Others feel that it is more important for people to change their behaviors and consume less. Discuss both sides and give your own opinion. Use examples from your own experience to support your position. Let me get a little bit more in the picture. Okay. And then write at least 250 words, and you have to write at least 250 words. Um, step one is to paraphrase the question. We did all these yesterday, so we paraphrased. We identified our topic, talking about technology and or behavior as the solution to global problems. And then eventually we got to our introductory paragraph here. Um, so we uh, introduce our essay, we introduce the topic, we introduce the concept, and we introduce our argument, okay? So um, when you're thinking about the introductory uh, paragraph, everyone, um, when you're thinking about the hook, you can kind of think about the hook that way as well. Um, it's uh, an introduction to your topic, okay? introduce the topic and that's the hook okay uh, you introduce your topic and you catch your reader you're like hey I got something to say or I got something to talk about or write about and it's interesting catch you grab you okay so that's introducing the topic and the hook and then the background you can actually think about it as introducing um, introducing uh, your um, definitions, okay? So like, what do you mean? All right, that could be another way to think about your uh, background. And then your thesis, um, you could think about it as introducing your position or your argument. Okay, so, and that's the introduction. So, three things that you introduce, the topic, your definitions, and your argument. And then it makes logical sense that, hey, yeah, okay, that makes sense for a persuasive essay to uh, introduce in that way. So, here is what we wrote. It is vital to find solutions to world problems before human extinction. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, certain innovations and habits are targeting challenges such as pollution and overpopulation. To ensure the survival of our species, these issues must be addressed effectively. In my opinion, both technology and behavior can be adapted to tackle worldly difficulties as these fixes are complementary. Okay. So now um, we can choose to write two or three body paragraphs depending on our style of writing, but we need to write definitely at least two. And our first body paragraph has to be about um, using technology to solve the problems of the world, um, especially pollution, because that's what the essay is asking about, okay? So body one, uh, body paragraphs have a very standard kind of structure, okay, with some very clear points. Um, so uh, you have a topic sentence, and then many um, instructors will say, and then you have some supporting points. Uh, yeah, you do. You have supporting points. Uh, but to be a bit clearer, okay, you have an explanation. So you explain your topic sentence. Then you provide examples. Um, the uh, question is asking you for that. It's asking you for examples from your experience. And then, um, especially with longer essays, like on IELTS, it's good for body paragraph one, but in university, you will have this for your bigger essays and assignments. You have connecting, um, concluding sentences uh, for each paragraph. Okay. Um, on the outs, I, I do believe that you can get a band 8, band 9 without having these connecting, concluding sentences. Uh, just having really good explanations and examples is enough. But um, 
yeah, you know, you might as well put it in for body paragraph one to show the examiner that you do know this part of writing. Okay, um, and I see that me has, uh, one of our members has also put some of her introduction into the chat. Um, so I'll take a look at that, me. And students, I definitely encourage you to write with me in this class. So don't just listen to me. Um, don't just treat it like a podcast. But if you're here, if you're participating, then definitely write these sentences as I explain them. And I'll catch them in the chat. And I'll give you some feedback, okay? So me says there are many... Uh, challenges that happen around the world um, such as pollution, crime, and uh, pandemic. Technology and humans are considered to be the ways to deal with these problems. In my point of view, the best solution to effectively solve global issues are human behaviors and technological advancements as they are complementary. Okay, Mian, so that's your background and your uh, thesis. I think you're kind of missing the hook um, from your introduction. Uh, and there's a couple of mistakes, especially in your background, that you want to pay attention to. But overall, quite good. Okay. All right, so body paragraph one, topic sentence. Okay. Um, topic sentence um, it is uh, basically dealing with your... Um, first point where um, it's looking at technology as the focus for a uh, solution to our uh, worldly uh, problems, right? So a lot of people believe, or I don't want to say believe because I think I've used that before, a lot of people um, support uh, technological advancement as being the key uh, to uh, addressing the um, uh, problems, the major problems of the world uh, because it is too late to educate um, humanity, uh, so we must rely on inventions. Okay, so this is my topic sentence, and the topic sentence has to be more than just a repeat of your introduction, so you have to say something new. Okay, so um, again, the focus here is to write this essay within 40 minutes. And to do that, you really have to be clear on the specific steps for each part of the essay. So for the topic sentence, the important point that you have to pay attention to is you're discussing your first point of the essay, which is depending on technology. But you have to be a bit more specific. Like, what do you mean technology? Okay, well, kind of inventions of people who are very smart and they're looking at ways to solve um these issues, right? And then you go into your explanation. So who are these uh, smart uh, people, right? Well, they're scientists, okay? So scientists are constantly uh, researching and experimenting um, on ways uh, to reverse and uh, fix pollution by turning to alternative sources of energy and uh, discovering uh, effective um, cleaners or effective ways to clean up um, human uh, pollutants, human uh, debris. Okay. 
All right. Um, so, and again, as I'm writing and I'm thinking of the words, I'm always thinking of words that I've used already in the essay, like pollution or waste, uh, for example. Um, and then I'm looking for other words that I might know, which paraphrase those words, like um, instead of waste or pollution, debris. Okay. So showing that lexical uh, resource marks. Okay. So um, a lot of people support technological advancement as being the key to addressing the major problems of the world because it is too late to educate humanity. So we must rely on inventions. Scientists are constantly uh, researching and experimenting on ways to reverse and fix pollution by turning to alternative sources of energy and discovering effective ways to clean up human debris. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, so now we want to uh, include an example. And the example has to come from your own experience because the question is asking you in this way. It says include examples from your own experience, right? So um, you can say, I read a research uh, paper which, okay, um, or I read a newspaper article that, Okay, um, so and then continue, you can make it up, right? We know about electric cars, we know about water purification systems, uh, we know about um, uh, uh, wind and solar uh, energy. So uh, think about those when you think about your examples and think about the ways that science is helping to uh, kind of clean up the world, recycling, recycling centers and so on. All right. Uh, meanwhile, Jai Neal in our chat uh, has written a topic sentence, and Jai Neal writes, uh, Tons of technological advancements can be utilized to overcome worldwide difficulties because it is the faster way uh, to solve problems than through human behavior. Um, yeah, Jai Neal, I think that's a really good topic sentence. A couple of small mistakes with uh, your word choice, but it's really good. I love your thinking. I, I really like how you say that. Well, technology is the solution because it's faster than human behavior. And I think you're on to something, Janiel, because I agree. Like, it takes a long time to teach people new behaviors. Um, it takes people a long time to unlearn bad behaviors, especially when you're talking about 8 billion people. So I think you can make a pretty good argument there in uh, body paragraph one, why some people think the solution is technology. Okay. Um, Bandita writes, a lot of people agree technological advancement is the solution to resolve the problems in the world as, as it is quicker uh, compared to human behavior. Um, Bandita, again, a couple of small corrections, but very good. You're on the right track. I agree. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I read in a research uh, paper that um, switching societies to electric uh, vehicles can solve uh, air pollution much faster than uh, educating individuals to uh, drive less and ride uh, bicycles. All right, so I'm kind of leaning on what you've written, that technology is faster than human behavior. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still kind of at the tail end of this cold. Okay, um, so that's my example, all right? Um, and then here I can have my connecting sentence, okay? And my connecting sentence has to uh, lead into my next body paragraph, which of course is going to be human behavior. And potentially um, it can also lead into my opinion. So I can combine expressing my opinion which is both human uh, behavior and technology can be used to solve world problems. 
and uh, conclude this, okay? So while uh, this may be true, let me, I think you can't see what I'm writing, right? It's behind my body and my head, so let's get it up higher. So while this may be true, myself, along with others, do believe that um, adjusting um, human behavior is also uh, needed. Okay, let's keep it simple, right? You don't have to overcomplicate all of your sentences. Uh, it's good to have one or two simple sentences in among your paragraphs, in among your complex sentences, just so that you can kind of clear your mind. And it's good for the reader as well. So it's nice for the reader to read some complex sentences that contain concise and clear information. But it's good to kind of stagger that information with some simpler sentences that give a break for the mind to clearly and easily understand an idea, okay? So don't be scared of writing a simple sentence or two in your essay. You can still get a very, very high band score, okay? All right. Hasna writes, technology has become a key solution to uh, fixing um, global issues through the development of machines by engineers and scientists. Hasna, that's a good topic sentence. You're on the right track. You just have to pay attention to your wording, okay? Uh, students, definitely when I read your sentences, uh, check the time. The video time right now is 21 minutes, Hasna, when I read yours. And kind of check how I fixed it, like the words that I took out and what I changed to make it more accurate, okay? All right, Bandita says, researchers are spending ample amounts of time to invent and analyze um, equipment to clean the air, the land, and water. Very good, Bandita. So uh, it's a nice deep definition of uh, point one. It's very, very good. Okay. All right. So uh, now we're ready for body paragraph two. And body paragraph two, um, it's the same structure. Okay, as body paragraph one, um, but you don't need a connecting sentence. It just reads strange with the connecting concluding sentence. If you have lots of time, write an extra example or write a clear explanation. You don't really need a connecting or concluding sentence because um, it's the conclusion is right after. So why, why do you need to conclude a paragraph before the conclusion? It doesn't make sense. Um, Lil Cash, thank you for your super chat donation and that heart. That's super cool to see that while we're working away on this essay. I appreciate that. Um, I hope you're doing well and I hope your studies are going well and you do a great job on your aisles. Thank you. If you have questions, just send me an email. Very kind of you. Okay. Uh, so, uh, body paragraph two, um, very much the same, okay? So here we have to uh, give a deeper definition of um, our second uh, point, which is changing uh, human uh, behavior, okay? Now, um, when you're thinking about these deeper definitions, don't Kind of reinvent the definition. If you were here um, last class, you remember that we talked about like what, why, how for these main ideas. Um, so we talked about uh, what solutions does technology provide, right? Um, why does technology focus on this? Um, and then we also talked about what kinds of behaviors can help to fix world problems. So when you do that three, four minutes of planning, a lot of it in your head um, for the real exam at home, do it on paper, uh, then you come up with a lot of these definitions. Like you see here, reusing materials, coffee cup, buying less merchandise, 
Um, these are basically daily routines and activities that we do every day, right? And there's small actions that amount to a lot. So uh, composting, for example. Okay, so doing our everyday routines or everyday actions that put together when we all do them and when millions of people do them create big change, right? So we can use these ideas to come up with that deeper definition. Okay, all right, um, so indeed, um, daily uh, routines uh, such as uh, recycling, um, composting, and shopping have a major impact on uh, the viability of uh, at viability and uh, longevity of um, human uh, survival and quality of life. Okay, so when you're on the right track, um, the brain is really good at coming up with ideas and progressing the information kind of forward, right? So indeed, daily routines such as recycling, composting, and shopping have a major impact on the viability. Viability means um, the ability to uh, sustain life, the ability to um, sustain continuity, uh, continuation of existence. Okay, so the viability and longevity. Longevity means to keep going for a long time. Okay, so not just five years, ten years, a hundred years, but another thousand years, another hundred thousand years, right? So that's longevity of human survival. And you know, we're human, we don't want to just survive, um, we want a good quality of life as well, right? Um, so these ideas kind of progress as you're writing the essay when you have the right ideas, right? Uh, Bakrat writes, topic, uh, example, um, reports state that technology has a major role to stop air pollution by inventing um, e-vehicles in metropolitan cities in India, and there are numerous devices created to overcome air pollution. Um, yeah, very good, Bakrat. Um, don't say the report says. Okay, if you're doing a presentation verbally, then say the report says because you're speaking. When you're writing, it's better to um, write the report states or indicates or expresses. Um, it doesn't actually speak. Okay, we sometimes use it in writing, but it is a bit awkward because we're not really speaking, we're writing. Okay, it's just kind of a nitpicky detail. All right, um, okay, and then we go into our explanation, right? So, um, hours explanation. There we go. So now we need to explain to our reader, like, why do these daily routines, such as recycling, composting, um, impact um, uh, our major world problems? Okay. So, uh, although. Um, Changing human behavior uh, takes time. Um, in the long run, it is essential that each uh, person does their uh, part to save our planet and improve life as I believe that technology alone is not enough um, to uh, do this because there are over 8 billion uh, people 
in the world and many small changes can amount to a great solution. Okay, um, so here I'm going into explanation and um, when you're thinking of explanation think of numbers as well. So we've been talking about this number 8 billion people, 8 billion people. And yeah, there's lots of us, right? So um, if each one of us can do at least a couple of small actions per day to help fix some problems in the world, such as pollution, um, then that will definitely have an impact. We shouldn't just rely on technology, right? So um, when you're writing, it's a good idea, especially at home when you're practicing, to reread uh, your paragraphs once you have a couple of sentences. So indeed, daily routines such as recycling, composting, and shopping have a major impact on the viability and longevity of human survival and quality of life. Although changing human behavior takes time in the long run, it is essential that each person does their part to save our planet and improve life, comma, as I believe that technology alone is not enough to do this because there are over 8 billion people in the world and many small changes can amount to a great solution. Um, I have read that uh, since uh, people have uh, begun using uh, cloth bags uh, for shopping instead of plastic, there has been a reduction of plastic waste each year. Now let's make that clear. There has been a reduction of uh, 10 million tons of plastic waste each year. Okay, so that's my example to support my opinion. Why did I come up with this example so quickly? Well, because when we were planning the essay, we talked about not using plastic bags, using cloth bags. And indeed, we can see, and I've done a bit of traveling over the past uh, 10 years, and it's been around 15 years or so, 10, 15 years, that um, reusable shopping bags have become the mainstream and there's been a lot of push for people to change this behavior. And I've actually seen that this is having a big impact in the world. So uh, compared to 10, 15 years ago when it was all about plastic bags, uh, now we can definitely see that there's less of it, okay? So uh, when you think of the, your examples, really think of those real world examples, okay? So examples that you can see around you, such as use of plastic bags. By the way, I believe it's at the end of this year that restaurants and uh, stores will no longer have plastic straws. Maybe some of you have already seen that straws are changing to paper. So um, yeah, changes are a bit slow, I think we should be a little bit faster, but hey, we're doing it. Okay, we're changing our behaviors. All right. Jainil writes, in relation to my previous example, the research paper also explained that plastic recycling at every door is the most effective way to solve the plastic waste problem of the planet. And it is the responsibility of each person to separate their garbage. Yeah, Jainil, absolutely. I would finish, Jainil, with it is the responsibility of each person to separate their garbage because separating garbage is very much a human behavior. So when we take that step to put our plastic here and not throw it into the garbage, it's human behavior, right? So sorting our garbage. Okay. Um, Bakrat says humans must follow the three R's of recycling, reuse, recycle, and reduce in their daily activities to increase the chance of human survival and the uh, cleanliness of the planet as well. Bakrat, that's good, okay? A little bit of uh, correction there, but yeah, the three R's of recycling, absolutely, very good. 
Uh, Bandita writes, uh, though altering human behavior is time consuming, it is necessary that each one of us uh, can be determined uh, to take steps to save our mother planet. And this effort can be invested as a reliable long-term solution. Okay, now um, comes the conclusion. Okay, and students, depending on your skill level and how fast you write, you might be able to write a third paragraph about um, combining uh, technology and human behavior and your opinion to um, be the most effective in solving problems around the world. However, if you're like, oh, I just never have enough time to do that, um, then you can also do that in the conclusion, right? So the conclusion is the next paragraph here. And the conclusion has uh, your main points restated, okay? Um, it has your argument strengthened. Um, and it has a take-home message. Now, when you have an essay where uh, the essay is asking you to discuss both sides and give your own opinion, there's kind of two ways that you can do that. You can um, give your opinion in each of the body paragraphs and the conclusion, or you can just kind of give it in the conclusion and strengthen it in the conclusion. So um, here in body paragraph one, um, I wrote about technology. Um, and I included my own opinion. So I, along with others, do believe that adjusting human behavior is also needed. So I'm expressing my opinion here. Okay. And then... Um, and then here I'm expressing my opinion again. I believe that technology alone is not enough to do this because there are over 8 billion people in the world. Okay, so there I'm expressing my opinion again. And in the beginning, um, I have my opinion again. Sometimes what students do is they don't write anything about their opinion and then they write a sentence at the very end of their essay about their opinion. They'll say like, and I believe that that's definitely not effective writing and especially in university the professor will give you very low marks for that because they'll be like why did you introduce your opinion at the end of the essay that's very awkward okay um, did everybody catch that so members for that point I'd like to see some thumbs up or yeah I got it because I've seen this mistake quite a few times and I'm not sure if somebody's teaching this online or some IELTS book is teaching this but it is definitely not effective and standard persuasive writing to include an opinion at the very end of the essay. You don't have to believe me, um, just think about it logically, right? Logically, think about it. You read an entire essay and suddenly at the very end of the essay you get an opinion like, and I believe all of this has to be done. You're like, whoa, what? why didn't you tell me this at the beginning? Like, why, why did I read all this information before getting to an opinion, right? So, Janiel says, gotcha. Bakrat says, yes. So it's not considered effective to throw an opinion at your reader in a persuasive essay at the very end. Okay, And you can ask other um, professors and people who are experts in writing about that, and I'm sure they will agree. They'll say, well, yeah, it's not the best. Okay. All right, so um, we can restate our opinions and our main points here. Um, certainly... The planet is in need of rapid um, change to solve problems like pollution, and it is the combination of human behaviors and modern innovations together that give the best chance for optimal results. Okay, so here I'm again uh, combining um, the key points and I'm indirectly expressing my opinion. So here I haven't said I believe, 
Um, I'm saving that for the argument strengthened, um, but I'm restating my main points here. So certainly the planet is in need of rapid change to solve problems like pollution, and it is the combination of human behaviors and modern innovation together that give the best chance for optimal result. Therefore, so this was my points restated, so I'm going to do a P here. Okay, and then this is my argument strengthened. All right, so um, therefore, I strongly uh, believe or I strongly um, suggest, okay, let's be suggestive, right? Um, it's the conclusion. We've given lots of information to our reader. So let's be strong here, okay? Conclusions have to be strong. They have to be stronger than the introduction because the idea is that you wrote all this information, your reader has read all of this information, and now you're basically saying like, hey, look, I gave you all the ideas, I gave you all of the supporting evidence, now it's time for you to believe me, okay? So therefore, I strongly suggest that individuals not only rely on um, researchers and engineers to come up with uh, fixes to worldly uh, crises, crisis, um, but also look at ways to do their uh, own part. Okay. All right. Um, so that is um, the argument strengthened. So here I'm basically saying like, we got to do this. We got to combine the two and we have to do this, okay? And then now I have my take home message, okay? Take home message, every good piece of writing, every good essay will have a take home message and certainly your IELTS examiner, examiner will recognize this and will say, hey, yeah, this is somebody who has some education in English literature. They have a good understanding of persuasive writing, of good writing. Um, their uh, persuasive piece includes um, a uh, message that I can use in uh, my life. Okay, so um, it is uh, critical to not only look at what others can do to solve challenges, but uh, to, okay, I'm going to move it up. Yeah, sometimes those paragraphs get stuck behind my head, but don't worry, we'll go over the whole essay here in just a moment. Um, so it is critical to not only look at what others can do to solve challenges, but to analyze what each of us can do to ensure the best future for our grandchildren. All right, there we go. So really making our reader think here, like, wait a second, yeah, if I'm gonna have children, if I'm gonna have grandchildren, um, I want there to be a planet and I can't be thinking about, hey, yeah, you guys go and solve that problem there. I have to think about what can I do today uh, to fix these problems, okay? All right, um, so let's take a look at the full essay. We'll read it together. Uh, let's go over the original question first. So when you're doing this at home, students, and you've written your essay, it is very, very important that you analyze your writing, you get it corrected, you review it, you revise it over and over and over. And I know sometimes it's a headache and you're like, I don't want to read my own essay again and again and again. But that is a very important step to improving, okay? All right. Um, how many people, when you're practicing your IELTS writing, members, 
How many of you read and fix um, the same essay at least three times? Um, let's have some honest opinions here. If you don't, don't worry about it. A lot of students don't. So just out of curiosity, how many of you actually take a look at the same essay that you've written and read it over at least three times and make fixes to information, to word choice, uh, to your grammar use? So how many of you actually read and fix and review your essay at least three times? Just out of curiosity, every time. How many of you do that? Hasna says, not me. Very honest, Hasna. I give you a thumbs up for your honesty. Janiel says, I used to do it during preparation. Yeah, <clears throat> OK, Janiel. Barbara says, I do. Good. Um, how many of you uh, read and revise your essay um, over the course of one week? So another really important tip is don't just review and fix your essay at the same time when you're writing it. This is, of course, when you're practicing. When you're practicing at home, you can't do this in the real exam. In the real exam, you can only review it once, right? Um, but how many of you actually at home, when you're practicing, write the essay, review it right away, wait a few hours, review it again, wait a couple of days, review it again, and then wait a week and review it again? So how many of you review your essay over the course of a week, not over the course of an hour, meaning that you review it with a break or with a separation of several days. And that's a very important tip because our brain is much uh, more critical and it's much more analytical when it has time to forget about the piece of writing and look at it with a fresh pair of eyeballs. Okay, so how many of you actually review your essays with days of separation? Okay, uh, Janiel says, uh, I did it in three days. Um, yeah, Janiel, that's a good start. Okay, uh, Barhat says, I have to do this. Yeah, absolutely, students. I highly recommend um, doing it with days of separation. I've done that with my writing, especially when I was in university, and sometimes I was like, what did I write? <laughs> was I drinking alcohol when I wrote this essay or smoking something? Like, what was I writing, right? Uh, so sometimes we're shocked. We're like, whoa, that's just awful. Um, sometimes it's a positive surprise. Sometimes we're like, whoa, I wrote that? I was really on the ball. I must have been... Um, I must have had a good night's sleep. That was a fantastic piece of paper. Good job, me, right? Um, so sometimes it's the opposite. Uh, and uh, Carolina says, I wish I could be aware of my own mistakes. Um, Carolina, uh, you can't, that's one of the reasons you want to read it with few days of separation is because we're often much better at catching mistakes um, when we have a few days and we do realize like, oh, whoa, that sentence just doesn't make sense, right? Um, the third uh, step or suggestion is peer review. So, you know, it's expensive to get all of your essays marked by professionals. Uh, I get that. Uh, that's fine. Um, you can also ask your friends uh, or other peers to uh, review your essays. So, you know, you're able to connect with each other here in the chat. Uh, we have our Discord group. Um, I think Carolina can maybe share our Discord group. Uh, details as well um, and you can share your essays with each other and give each other feedback so Bakrat can send his essay to Jainil, Jainil can say hey Bakrat this sentence here is out to lunch nobody will understand it and then Jainil can send an essay to uh, me and me can send an essay to Carolina and connect with each other right peer review and feedback is very valuable if your peers cannot understand what you're writing there's probably a problem with the writing okay All right. Um, yeah, I see you got some good laughs about <laughs> reviewing your essays later on, right? Okay, and save your essays, students. Look at them even half a year later. Sometimes it's good to look at the essays months later just so that you can see that you're improving. 
Uh, sometimes students think, I'm not improving, I'll never improve. But then if you look at an essay that you wrote half a year ago and you're like, uh, was that me? Um, so, yeah, don't give up on yourself. Okay, everyone, let's go over our question and our essay here. So IELTS writing task two, you should spend about 40 minutes on this task. Uh, many people think technology is the solution to major world problems such as pollution. Others feel that it is more important for people to change their behaviors and consume less. Discuss both sides and give your own opinion. Use examples from your own experiences to support your position. All right, here is our essay. It is vital to find solution to world problems before human extinction. Certain innovations and habits are targeting challenges such as pollution and overpopulation. To ensure the survival of our species, these issues must be addressed effectively. In my opinion, both technology and behavior can be adapted to tackle worldly difficulties as these fixes are complementary. A lot of people support technological advancement as being the key to addressing the major problems of the world because it is too late to educate humanity, so we must rely on inventions. Scientists are constantly researching and experimenting on ways to reverse and fix pollution by turning to alternative sources of energy and in discovering effective ways to clean up human debris. I read a research paper that switching societies to electric vehicles can solve air pollution much faster than educating individuals to drive less and ride bicycles. While this may be true, I, along with others, do believe that adjusting human behavior is also needed. Indeed, daily routines such as recycling, composting, and shopping, have a major impact on the viability and longevity of human survival and quality of life. Although changing human behavior takes time, in the long run, it is essential that each person does their part to save our planet and improve life, as I believe that technology alone is not enough to do this because there are over 8 billion people in the world, and many small changes can amount to a great solution. I have read that since people have begun using cloth bags for shopping instead of plastic, There has been a reduction of 10 million tons of plastic waste each year. Certainly the planet is in need of rapid change to solve problems like pollution and it is the combination of human behaviors and modern innovations uh, together that give the best chance for optimal results. Therefore I strongly suggest that individuals not only rely on researchers and engineers to come up with fixes to worldly crises, but also look at ways to do their own part. It is critical not only to look at what others can do to solve challenges, but to uh, analyze what each of us can do to ensure the best future for our grandchildren. Okay, everyone, uh, that is today's question and essay. I'm glad uh, that uh, everybody um, had some good ideas to contribute and had a fun time with me. Um, enjoy learning. It's, a, it's an important part of learning effectively. And I certainly hope that you enjoy learning um, while you're with me in these live classes. Uh, students, uh, keep up the practice. Remember, review, revise, edit your essays on the same day, a couple days later, even a week later. It's very effective for improving. Solo uh, Hidinov, good luck on your exam tomorrow. It sounds like a lot of people are writing their exams tomorrow, so um, the best of luck to all of you tomorrow on these exams. Uh, remember, students, to check us out at um, uh, our, on our website, uh, gialshelp.com. Click on that big red button. Join our premium package, one-time payment. Doesn't cost much. Lots of great videos, full practice exams. We probably give the best materials at the lowest cost for any online IELTS learning in the world. So, uh, and I say that with confidence. Um, for academic IELTS, it's the blue background, aehelp.com. Click that big red button there. So we're not even asking for donations or handouts. We're literally just saying, 
use materials that work to um, improve, okay? And uh, again, we do have a bit of help for you even with a discount code here at the top. So uh, the code is R4 uh, TYJ. You can use that at uh, aehelp.com during checkout for a 20% discount or gieltshelp.com uh, for general IELTS. Uh, Mi Yen, you are very, very welcome. Um, Hasna, you're welcome as well. Uh, keep up the good work, everybody, and I will see you in 30 minutes. We will be looking at a speaking part two cue card, a question that's very, 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 very similar to a question that was on the exam last month. Uh, so come back in 20, or sorry, 30 minutes and join me for that. I'm Adrian signing out from Victoria. Thank you, Carolina, for moderating the chat. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Bye for now. I'll be back soon.